It's a story about an unlikely friendship. It's a really tremendous whodunit. It's a fantastic evocation of a period, an investigation of discipline, uh, about what goes on in institutions. I mean, it's got so many levels. Congratulations on the movie! Yeah, well, thank you. It's so fun. I really loved it. I love the darkness of it all. Um, you've done so many things. So how do you decide, like, yeah, I think I want to do this role, and specifically the pale blue eye? Well, you're right. I have been tolerated on a long-term basis. Yeah. Um, so, um, well, it's all down to the script. Uh, it's down to the script that you read, and then the pedigree of the people working in it. Uh, it was a superb script, and the pedigree of the, per the people working in it is, you know, is beyond question. Um, Christian is one of my favourite actors, has been for a long time since I've watched him, been watching him. Um, and um, Scott Cooper is a brilliant director. I mean, he, he's surprising how, what areas he covers, you know, from gangsters in the 70s as it's now to the 1830s to country and western singers he's a, a man of great you know great talent and great general interest you know? mm -hmm. so when you first read the script did you figure out the end because I, it completely shocked me no i didn't well i got to it i thought hang on a minute because oh, then my character sort of kind of ends it. You think, actually, oh, this is the conclusion of the thing. Well, why is there another 20, you know, 15 pages here? Mm -hmm. And then you're hit smack bang in a solar plexus with this massive twist that makes you think, hang on a minute, you've got to retrace all of what you thought before. Mm -hmm. But it's, I, I think it's a, you know, it's got so much, you know, so many levels to it. It's, it's a story about an unlikely friendship. It's a really tremendous whodunit. It's a fantastic evocation of a period, an investigation of discipline uh, about what goes on in institutions. I mean, it's got so many levels. And it's also about, you know, as I say, a friendship, an unlikely friendship that, you know, is compromised by this twist that goes on. That really, people, what? You know, uh, so I, I'm really pleased and I've seen it. I'm really pleased that it's turned out to be actually better than I thought it was going to be, and I thought it was going to be pretty good when I saw it. <laughs> it's, it's brilliant. I yeah. loved it. It's one of those ones that when it ends, I'm like, okay, well, now I have to watch it again to try to pick up on all the things I missed. Yeah, I mean, it's not a complicated story, I think, but it, it's one that makes you think, actually, my goodness me, there's a lot in that. You know? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I love about it so much is the, the costumes and the sets. Did you mm. feel like you were stepping back in time? Oh, yeah. You mean... Obviously, you, you, obviously, you know, you're part of the preparation. <laughs> you know, you turn up looking like you do and then come out of the process and go on the set looking like you've you know, gone back 150 years. But no, I mean, a film can only be done as accurately and as brilliantly as this by incredibly talented technical people and artists who work on design, costume, set, makeup. And so on. The, the you know the thought process, the preparation in something like this is enormous to make it look effortless. The more effortless look something looks, the more you know people have worked hard on it. Yes, exactly. And final question: It's a little bit like a Harry Potter reunion. But did you ever get to work with Harry Melling on the original Harry Potter? Did you meet him at all? We didn't actually. No, uh, we weren't. We never. I, I was with the other wizards and uh, the other naughty people. He was. Uh, he was a he was a muggle, wasn't he? My, I was a nasty uh, one of the nastier wizards. So you finally got to, to work with him. How is yeah, he? Yeah, but he's he's well, he's excellent and he is superb in this. Yeah. I think he's really brilliant in this. I, I think he was born to play Edgar Allan Poe. I think so, and he, I mean everything I've seen him now as a as an adult actor, he, he impresses me more and more. I think this is a truly excellent performance. Awesome. Thank you again for stopping and congratulations. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you.